Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Gemma and today we'll be moving through a bit of back bending and we'll make our way to our peak pose today which is Camel Ustrasana. Okay, so we're going to start in a seat. Cross-legged kneeling, let yourself get nice and comfortable, grow tall through the spine. And then when you're ready, when you've lengthened, when you're resting, close the eyes. And then for these first few moments, just notice your natural breath. And then slowly as you're breathing, start to take more wholesome, more deep breaths as you connect and ground into your seats. So inviting the breath in and out through the nose. Breathe fully. And then exhale nice and deeply. And as you're breathing in and out, as you take those cycles of breath, just allowing yourself to really ground into this present moment as it presents itself to you. Connecting to whatever energy, whatever emotions, whatever you're feeling in this present moment now. And as we connect to the present moment, we connect to Satya, one of the yamas of yoga. And Satya refers to seeing and communicating things exactly as they are and not as we wish them to be. And so taking a few more breaths now to really allow the present moment just to be. And just allowing ourselves to find truth. And by finding truth, we need to explore the shadows and open up some spaces. And we'll do that in our flow today. Let's take three more breaths together. So we'll take a full inhale through the nose. Deep exhale out the nose. And again, inhale. And a deep exhale. One more big breath in. The longest, deepest breath out. Your next inhale will reach the hands all the way up overhead. Connect the palms together. And then exhale, draw the hands into your heart center, Anjali Mudra. And then bowing forehead to fingertips, just sealing that in. Sealing in that intention of being with the present moment. And then we'll open the eyes, lift the forehead off the fingertips. And then as we inhale, we're going to open our arms out to the side. And kind of like a cat cow warming up the spine. We're going to lift our heart space up to the ceiling. Just open up the chest, open up the collarbones. Exhale, bringing the right arm under the left. You're going to give yourself a hug and just rock back in the sitting bones, round that spine. Two more like that. Inhale, opening up. And then exhale, rounding, closing right arm is underneath. One more. Inhale to open up. And then exhale, right arm comes under, wrapping up tight, round that spine. Keeping the right arm under the left, find eagle arms as you straighten the spine, wrap the hands together, and then for a moment draw the forehead onto that left bicep, and then just maybe give a sway right and left, move through that upper spine, evening yourself out. Lift your forehead off that left bicep, come through center. As you exhale, we're gonna to twist to the right. See if you can hook your elbows outside of that right thigh. So maybe you get there, maybe you don't. Keep grounding through left sitting bone. Opening up a little bit through right shoulder. Stretching through that left side into the left hip. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release the eagle arms into a twist towards the right. So left hand comes to your right knee and then just twist towards the back. 
On your next inhale, come through center. We'll find reverse table. Feet are hip width distance apart. Press into your hands underneath your shoulder blades. Lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Lift the heart space. You can open up your throat slightly. Pressing into the heels, opening up through the hips. And then exhale, Navasana bow. Drop the hips or lift the feet off the floor. Connect to your core as you lift the arms off the floor. Pull through your fingertips. Engage into your lower belly. Just find a bit of lift through your upper body. And then as we exhale, we'll find a seat again. See if you can cross the opposite shin in front. And again, we'll open up the arms. Big breath in, open up the spine. Exhale, left arm comes under as you give yourself a big hug, rocking back. Inhale to open. Exhale to round, moving with your breath. Inhale to open. And exhale, giving yourself that tight squeeze. Keeping left arm under right, we'll find those eagle arms. Wrap up the hands tight. This time, we're just going to drop the chin towards your chest and then give a few head rolls as you just nod the chin right and left. Kind of giving a semicircle with that head releasing through the back of the neck. Okay, then lifting the chin. And then as you exhale, we're going to twist towards the left. See if you can hook those elbows on the outside of that left leg. Okay, grounding through right sitting bone. Breathing into this really deep kind of twisted shape. And then take one more inhale here. Exhale, release the eagle arms. Twist towards the left. Right hand comes to the left side. You open your spine up towards the back of the room. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Inhale, come back to center, reverse table. Feet hip width distance apart. Press into the feet, press into the hands, lift those hips. And then exhale, drop the sitting bones, come to Navasana boat. Lift those feet, release the arms. And then from here, you can stay or give a little rock back with your torso. We'll interlace our fingers in front of our chest and we'll just give a few twists side to side. Just getting into the deep core, you're more than welcome to bring the feet to the mat. See if you can bring a little bit of a rounding through your lower spine. Breathing. Okay, let's go right and left two more times. And then coming back up through Navasana Bow, take a breath. Exhale, cross those shins, we'll meet in all fours. In your all fours here, we're gonna flip the palms so that the fingertips face towards the knees. Let's take a cow pose on the inhale. Again, dipping your belly. Exhale, cat round the spine. Pull belly up towards the ceiling. Cow pose, inhale. Exhale, cat round the spine. One more, cow pose, breathing in. And exhale, cat breathing out. Dome through that upper back. Coming back to all fours, release the fingers to face the top of the mat. And then tiger will flex the right foot, draw the right foot up towards the ceiling. Keep the right knee bent. Take a breath here. Exhale, two hip circles towards the right hand side, one direction. And then taking two hip circles into the other direction. Nice and slow and deep circles. Tiger will lift that right foot up to the ceiling. Take a breath. Exhale, curl knee to nose, round through the spine. Tiger, breathing in, lift that right foot. And exhale, curl knee to nose. One more, tiger, take a breath in. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Rock slightly forward on your hands and then we'll cross that right knee over the left. And from here we'll find cow, take a breath in. And exhale, cat, breathing out. Cow, taking one more inhale. As you exhale, round the spine, shifting forward onto the hands, draw the right knee to nose. Tiger, take a breath in. Exhale, we'll find a little chaturanga push-up coming diagonally forward, elbows hugging in. Inhale, tiger, press up. Exhale, little push-up. Inhale, tiger, breathing in. Exhale, curl knee to nose, tuck the left toes under. Three-legged dog, inhale, right leg rises, bend the knee, open up the hip. Take a moment here, you're rolling that right shoulder down. And then three-legged dog, take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog as you breathe out. First downward dog for today. Take a little walk out through the backs of those legs. Send the breath into the whole back line of the body. From your down dog, take an inhale. 
Exhale, bend the knees, walk the hands back towards the feet for a gentle ragdoll just for a moment. Draping over the shins, lifting through the sitting bones. Release those hands, take a halfway lift as you breathe in. And then exhale, forward fold as you breathe out. Inhale, looking forward, high plank, crawl the hands all the way forward towards the top of the mat. Long collarbones, strong through hands, strong through the feet. Okay, from here, inhale, we'll rock the weight forward over the fingers. Exhale, slow lower to your belly. You're welcome to use the knees coming all the way down towards the floor. Untuck the toes. Cobra, take an inhale, pull the heart forward. And exhale, coming all the way down. Two more like that. Cobra, breathing in. And exhale, all the way down. One more Cobra, inhale. And exhale, all the way down. Listen carefully for this one. We're gonna tuck our toes under, and then we're gonna press into the feet, and we're gonna draw the hips up to the ceiling. And then from when the hips are up, kind of in this like puppy pose, pressing into your hands, you're gonna untuck those toes. Press into your hands, inhale, ripple, into like a king cobra, kind of upward facing dog, but your knees are on the floor. And then exhale, tuck the chin, we'll find child's pose, the weight back onto the heels. Take a breath in. And exhale all fours as you come back onto your hands. Tiger, lift that left knee up or left foot up, flex that left foot, take a breath. Exhale, two hip circles in one direction and two in the other. Taking your time, keeping your belly engaged. Tiger, take a deep breath in. Exhale, curl knee to nose, round through that spine. Tiger, inhale, flex that left foot. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Tiger breathing in. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Rocking slightly forward on your hands to hook the left knee over the right. Cow pose, breathe in. And exhale, cat breathing out. Cow, inhale. And exhale, cat, rounding the spine. Cow pose, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, find cat, rock forward over the hands, draw the left knee to nose again. Tiger, take an inhale. Exhale, little chaturanga, push up, come diagonally forward. One more inhale, press up. Exhale, little push up, come forward. Inhale, tiger, press up. Exhale, curl knee to nose, tuck that right toes under. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee, open up the hip. Take a moment here. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathing out. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. High up onto your toes, roll the spine as you send the shoulders over the hands. Exhale, down dog, tuck the chin, pull the belly up. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, downward dog, send the sitting bones up and back. Inhale, ripple, high plank. Exhale slowly to your belly, elbows hugging in tight. This time for locust pose, untuck the toes, draw the fingertips behind your lower spine, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift the heart space as you draw the interlace to your heels. Breathe here as you squeeze those inner thighs. The crown of the head is drawing forward. Long through the spine. Take one more inhale, maybe you can lift a little bit higher. And exhale, come all the way down, hands under your shoulders. Again, we tuck the toes under. And we lift the sitting bones as we draw the knees a little bit forward. Untuck the toes. Press into hands. Inhale, ripple up. Finding that little king cobra. Take a breath. And then exhale, tuck the chin down. With facing dog this time, lift the hips up and back. Let's take a full breath through the nose. And a full breath out. Right leg rises, three-legged dog, breathing in. Exhale, curl the right knee to nose, round forward on towards your palms. Three-legged dog, breathing in. Exhale, curl knee to nose and step in between your hands, find low lunge. Drop that left knee, Anji and Asana, take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we're gonna grab hold of opposite elbow, like ragdoll arms above your head. As we inhale, we'll take a little back bend. So we're gonna lift our heart and then shine the hips a little bit forward. And then exhale, half split, reach the hands back, flex that front foot. Anji and Asana, inhale, press into your right foot again. Exhale, hands to the mat, find low lunge. 
Easy twist, right arm rises up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in. And exhale, long pyramid pose, backstroke that right arm as you lift the hips up and back. Inhale, low lunge, rock forward. Exhale, press and reach, turn towards your left, toes in, heels out, take a fold. Halfway lift as you breathe in. And exhale, fold as you come all the way down. One more halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, top of your mat, exhale. From here, crouching tiger to the back of your mat. So step the right foot back, bend your knees, and really crouch down so the sitting bones come down towards your heels. We'll meet in Malasana squats. Take little steps all the way to the top. Send the hips down low, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in. And then forward fold, bring those toes together. Chair pose, Utkatasana, take a deep breath in. Settle the weight back into the heels, lift energy through the fingertips, and then squeeze those thighs together. Okay, another inhale here. Exhale, curtsy over towards the left, send that right leg back behind. Chair pose, take a deep breath in. Exhale, curtsy towards the right, left leg comes behind. Chair pose, take an inhale. Exhale, flying chair, swim the hands back, rise high up onto those toes. We're gonna stay here, inhale, rocket arms, bring the hands next to ears. Exhale, swim the hands back next to the hips. Rocket arms, breathe in. Arrow arms, breathing out. High mountain, ground the heels, stand up tall, breathe in. And forward fold as you breathe out, hinge at the hips. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the palm, step back, high plank. Inhale, we rock the weight forward. Exhale, slowly all the way down towards your belly. We tuck the, keep the toes tucked and we press the hips up as we shift the knees forward, untuck the toes. Press into the hands. This time we're gonna ripple all the way up to up dog. Lift your knees as you pull the heart forward. And downward facing dog, tuck the chin, send the hips up and back. Leg rises, three-legged dog, breathe in. Exhale, curl knee to nose, round forward, shin far away from the mat. Three-legged dog, breathing in. Exhale, curl knee to nose, step lightly in between the hands, low lunge. Lower that right knee, Anji and Asana, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, grabbing hold of opposite elbow. As you inhale, lifting your heart space, allowing the collarbones to stay wide, Shifting those hips forward. Exhale, half split, swim the hands all the way back. Inhale, Anji and Asana pressing up. Exhale, hands to the mat, find low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Left arm reaches to the ceiling. And then exhale, long pyramid pose, backstroke that left hand. Low lunge, inhale, look forward. Exhale, press the reach it towards your right, toes in, heels out. Halfway lift, breathing in. And fold, breathing out. Again, halfway lift, inhale. Fold as you exhale. Halfway lift, breathing in. Low lunge, top of your mat as you breathe out. Crouching tiger, back of your mat. So grounding the palms, step the left foot back, bend those knees, and then it's a step or a hop to Malasana squat. And then hands come to your heart center, take a breath. And you're folding forward, fold, bring those feet together. Chair pose, Utkatasana, take a deep breath in. Exhale, we take in a curtsy to the right, left leg comes behind. Chair pose, take a breath in, sitting the weight back. Exhale, curtsy to the left, right leg comes behind. Chair pose, breathing in. And exhale, flying chairs, you breathe out. Squeeze those thighs, you wanna hug and dome your belly away from the legs. Rocket arms, take a breath. Exhale, arrow arms, sweep them back. Rocket arms, breathe in, and arrow arms, breathe out. High mountain, ground the heels, take a big inhale to look up, reach up. Cactus back bend as you exhale, lift the heart. High mountain, breathing in, forward fold as you breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank. Again, we shift the weight forward as you breathe in. Exhale slowly to your belly as you breathe out. 
Keeping the toes tucked, lift the sitting bones, shift the knees forward, untuck the toes. Press into hands, ripple the spine forward. Upward dog as you lift your knees. Downward facing dog as you lift those hips up and back. As I take a breath in, and a breath out. Right leg rises, three-legged dog as you inhale. Exhale, right knee, left tricep, take a twist. Three-legged dog, breathing in. Exhale, curl knee to nose, breathing out. Three-legged dog, inhale. Right knee, right tricep, high and wide. Three-legged dog, breathing in. Exhale, curl knee to nose, step in between the hands, find low lunge. Anji and Asana, drop that left knee, breathe in. Exhale, grab hold of opposite elbow. Inhale, back bend as you sh shift your hips forward. Exhale, half split as you reach those hands back. This time, low lunge. Inhale, ground the palms. Exhale, side plank to the right. Right foot can come in front or on top of the left. And then inhale, low lunge with an easy twist. So keep this right hand where it is. The right leg steps forward. Open up that right shoulder. And then exhale, long pyramid pose. Send those hips up and back. Low lunge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, skandasana, back of your mat, turn those toes out. Inhale, skandasana to the front. Exhale, press your reeds forward, fold, toes in, heels out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge, go to the back of your mat, bend into that left knee. High crescent lunge to the back. Little bend to that right knee as you come all the way up. Exhale, cactus back bend, bend those elbows, lift the heart. Draw the hands back up and we'll find a standing pyramid. So you're just straightening the legs. You're on the ball of that right foot. And then exhale, arrow lunge, bend the left knee as you rock the weight forward. We'll do that again. High crescent lunge, breathe in. Cactus back bend, breathing out. Standing pyramid, inhale, lift the hands, straighten the knees. Exhale, arrow lunge, rock forward. High crescent, breathing in. Cactus back bend, breathing out. Standing pyramid, breathe in. We're going to stay here. Exhale, interlace the hands behind your lower back. Inhale to lift the heart. Draw that interlace toward that, towards that right heel. And then exhale, arrow lunge will release that forward. Reverse your warrior. Take an inhale. Ground the right heel. Windmill the arms all the way up and back. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, warrior two. Back of your mat as you breathe out. Star, we'll take a deep breath in. Horse, as you breathe out, just sink those hips. Star, breathing in. And horse, breathing out. Star, as you inhale. Warrior two, top of your mat as you exhale. And let's just ground here for a moment. Those feet are kind of tearing the mat apart, reaching through the fingertips, finding a bit of ease through your shoulders. Traverse your warrior, take a deep breath in. Keeping that right knee nice and bent, and then extend the side angles you breathe out, coming forwards and through, left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Reverse your warrior, take a deep breath in. Exhale, windmill, low lunge all the way down towards the mat as you breathe out. Crouching tiger, back of your mat, breathe in. Exhale, malasana, squat, step or hop. Hands to heart, take a breath. And forward fold as you breathe out. Chair pose, Utkatasana, take a deep breath in. Exhale, curtsy to the left as you breathe out. Chair pose as you inhale. Exhale, curtsy to the right as you exhale. Chair pose, breathing in. Exhale, flying chair as you breathe out. We find rocket arms as you inhale. Arrow arms as you exhale. Again, rocket arms, breathe in. Arrow arms, breathing out. Chair pose, take a deep breath in. Figure four, bring your left foot to your right thigh. Okay, stay here for a moment. Lifting the heart, even though you're sitting the way back to that right heel. And then from here, we're gonna interlace our hands at the base of our lower spine. Okay, do the best as you can with your shoulders. If this is enough, you stay. 
If you can, inhale, we're gonna open the heart slightly up to the ceiling, drawing that interlace back. Mind your balance if you're looking up and then a little fold forward. Woo. Lifting the arms, finding that drishti, that gaze is gonna help you. Cool guys, we're gonna release, come all the way up, one-legged tree, left knee to left, armpit, take a breath. Exhale, curtsy to the right, bring that left knee behind. Standing split, take a deep breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat, squeeze. Standing split, inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Standing split, breathing in. Exhale, baby Hanuman, bring that left shin down to that right big toe and just take a seat here. Inhale, we'll lift the arms up. Exhale, twist towards the right as you bring that left arm to the outside of that right thigh. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, come forward, low lunge as you step that left leg back. Anji and Asana, lower the left knee, come all the way up, breathe in. Vertical twist towards your right as you breathe out. Anji and Asana, breathing in. Vertical twist towards your left as you breathe out. So we're opening up towards that open side. Keep that left hip facing forward. And then we'll take a little back bend as we inhale. Maybe bring the left hand to your lower back as you lift the right arm up and back. And then exhale, chaturanga in one big swoop. We'll step back, come halfway down. Upward facing dog or cobra, taking a standard chaturanga here. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe. And to ground. Left leg rises. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Left knee, right tricep, take a twist. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, as high as you can on that left arm. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Exhale, step in between the hands, low lunge. Lower that right knee, Anji and Asana, take a breath. Exhale, grab hold of opposite elbow. Inhale, little back bend as you shift the hips forward. Exhale, half split as you release the hands back. Low lunge as you inhale, ground the palms. Exhale, side plank to the left. Lift that left arm. Keep the left arm where it is as we inhale, low lunge with an easy twist. Step the left foot forward. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, long pyramid pose, backstroke that left hand. Inhale, low lunge, look forward. Exhale, skandasana, back of your mat. Inhale, skandasana to the front. Exhale, prasarita, toes in, heels out. Halfway left, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, back of your mat. High crescent lunge to the back, take a deep breath in. Cactus back bend as you breathe out. Standing pyramid, inhale. Straightening the legs on the ball of that left foot now. And then exhale, arrow lunge, bending into that right knee. High crescent lunge, breathe in. Cactus back bend as you breathe out. Standing pyramid, breathe in, lift the arms. Exhale, arrow lunge, sweep forward. High crescent, breathing in. Cactus back bend, breathing out. Standing pyramid, breathing in to stay. And then as you exhale, interlace those hands at the base of your spine. As we inhale, we lift the chest and you're finding that balance on the left toes, squeezing the inner thighs. And then exhale, arrow lunge, release everything forward. Reverse your warrior inhale. Grounding the left heels, you reach that right arm up and back. And then exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Star, take a deep breath in. And horse as you breathe out. Star, inhale. Horse, exhale. Star, breathing in. And warrior two to the top of your mat now, bending into that left leg. Reverse your warrior, take a deep breath in. And extended side angle as you breathe out, opening up that right shoulder. Reverse your warrior, take a deep breath in. And let's find warrior two once more to hold. We held this on the other side. So take a moment just to hold and ground through that left leg. Moment just to breathe. 
Okay, let's reverse our warrior now, reaching up and back. Exhale, one more all the way down to the mat, low lunge. Crouching tiger, step back as you inhale. Exhale, step or hop, malasana squat. Take an inhale, bring hands to heart. And exhale to fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana, breathing in. Curtsy to the right as you breathe out. Chair pose, breathing in. And curtsy to the left as you breathe out. Chair pose, breathing in. And flying chair as you breathe out. Rocket arms, take an inhale. Arrow arms, exhale. Rocket arms, breathing in. Arrow, breathing out. Chair pose, take a breath. And it's figure four, that right foot comes to the left thigh. Okay, take a moment here, ground into that left foot. Even though the weight is in that left heel, we're still opening up the collarbones. Okay, and from here we interlace fingers behind that lower back. Okay, notice the grounding in that left foot. Wobbles are always welcome. If you wanna try, we're gonna lift the gaze, almost taking a little bit of a back bend, and then we're gonna to start to rock forward. Send the weight back into that left heel. Okay, release those hands. One-legged tree, right knee, right armpit, breathe in. Exhale, curtsy, right leg behind the left. Standing split, inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, Shiva squat. Standing split, breathe in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Standing split, inhale. Exhale, baby Hanuman, right shin next to that left big toe. Lift the arms, inhale. Exhale, twist towards the left. So we're gonna bind that right arm outside that left thigh. Inhale here. Exhale, low lunge. Hands down, step that right leg back. Anji and asana, coming back up, reach the arms. Exhale, vertical twist towards the left. Anji and asana, breathing in. Exhale, vertical twist towards the right. Keep the right hip forward, so it might not seem as open the side to the shoulders. And then inhale, we'll take a back bend. Lift the left arm, right hand to the back of your hips. And then as we exhale, full circle, chaturanga, step the left leg back, come halfway down. Up dog or cobra, breathe in. And we'll find a downward facing dog. Ground here for a moment, find your breath. Same flow, adding a little bit on. And let's try and move with the breath. Right leg rises, three-legged dog, take a breath. Exhale, right knee, left tricep, pause, fall in stars. You kick this right leg up, lift the left arm, take a breath, lift those hips. And then exhale, right knee comes to notes. Three-legged dog, breathing in. Exhale, step in between the hands, low lunge. Anji and asana, inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, find the elbows. Inhale, shift the hips a little bit more forward if you can, lifting the heart. Exhale, half split. Maybe the hands can come off the mat. Low lunge, inhale. Exhale, side plank to the right. Lift the right arm. Inhale, low lunge with an easy twist. Keep that right arm where it is, step forward. Exhale, long pyramid pose. Low lunge, inhale, look forward. Skandasana, back of your mat. Maybe hands to heart. Inhale, Skandasana to the front. Exhale, Prasarita, fold toes in. Half lift, inhale. Low lunge, back of your mat, exhale. High crescent lunge, breathing in. Cactus back bend, breathing out. Standing pyramid, breathe in. Exhale, arrow lunge, breathing out. One more, high crescent, breathe in. Cactus back bend, breathe out. Standing pyramid, inhale. Interlace the hands, base of your spine. Inhale to lift that heart space. Exhale, arrow lunge, rocking forward. Reverse your warrior, breathe in. Grounding the right heel. Warrior two, back of your mat, breathe out. Star, breathe in. Horse, breathing out. Star, inhale. Horse, exhale. Star, breathing in. Warrior two, top of your mat as you breathe out. Reverse your warrior, inhale. And extended side angle, come forwards and through. Maybe left arm can sweep along that left ear. 
Reverse your triangle this time. Sweeping back, and then exhale, full triangle. Bump those hips back as you release the right arm, the inner seam of the right leg, lift the left fingertips. Look wherever suits your neck. Maybe it's down towards that right foot. Maybe you can lift up towards the left fingertips. Okay, and from here, we're gonna lengthen, if it feels good for your body, the left arm along the left ear. And then we're gonna join the right arm along the right ear. Take a breath in. Stay here, just bend the right knee into that extended side angle with those arms. Keep the arms alongside your ears. Inhale, we'll come up. And we're gonna to start to sit back. So you've got your toes out, almost like skandhasana legs. Bend the right knee. And we're gonna to start to shift the weight back by flexing that left foot. Okay, if you need to use your hands, start to use your hands, maybe behind you, you start to send those sitting bones down. Left hand behind you, little stargazer variation. Lift the hips as you press into the right foot. And then exhale, we're gonna bring the hips down, we'll meet in low lunge as you call the hands to the top of the mat. Inhale, crouching tiger, press back. Exhale, malasana squat, jump forward. Hands to heart. A forward fold as you breathe out. Chair pose, Utkatasana, breathing in. Straight to figure four, left foot to your right thigh. And place those hands. Inhale to lift the heart. And exhale to bow. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper this time. Flex that left foot. Allow the hands to rock a little bit overhead. And then releasing the fingertips, one legged tree, breathe in. Exhale, drag and twist, connect the palms as you twist towards the right, left elbow to that right thigh. Breathe in. Standing split, inhale, hands to the mat. Exhale, Shiva squat. Standing split, breathe in. Exhale, baby Hanuman, left shin comes down. Lift those hands, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right, left arm sweeps over. Take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, step the left leg back. Anjana and Asana, inhale. Straight to twist towards the left as you exhale. Take that little back bend, inhale. Maybe that left hand can reach a little bit further back, maybe left calf or left thigh. And then Chaturanga as you exhale all the way to flow. Follow your own cycle of breath. And we'll take a downward facing dog. Okay, let's flow straight to the left side. Three-legged dog, inhale. Left knee, right tricep, twist to hold, fall and star. Kick out as you lift this right arm, take a breath. And left knee to nose. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Step in between the hands, low lunge. Anji and Asana, lift the hands. Exhale, find that box. Inhale, shine the hips forward. Really open the heart. Exhale, Anji and Asana, maybe hands next to hips. Low lunge, inhale. Exhale, side plank to the left. Lift that left arm. Step forward, low lunge with an easy twist. Can you look up? And long pyramid pose, exhale. Low lunge, breathe in. Skandasana, back of your mat, breathe out. Maybe you want to use the arms. Skandasana to the front, breathe in. Prasarita, toes in, heels out. Halfway left, inhale. Your mat, exhale. Keep flowing, stay with breath. High crescent, breathe in. Back bend, breathe out. Standing pyramid, breathe in. And arrow lunge, breathe out. High crescent, breathe in. Back bend as you breathe out. Standing pyramid, inhale. Interlace the hands behind your lower back. Inhale for that back bend. You're squeezing the inner thighs towards each other. Exhale, arrow lunge. Reverse your warrior inhale. Ground that left heel. Warrior two, back of your mat. Star, breathe in. Horse spreading out. Star, inhale. Warrior two, top of your mat as you exhale. Reverse your warrior, breathing in. Extended side angle, breathing out. The right arm is along that right ear. Reverse your triangle angle as you breathe in. So straighten those knees, full triangles you breathe out, lengthen forward and then the right arm lifts. 
Allow this right arm to really pull up towards the ceiling. Imagine someone's pulling through that right wrist. Breathing. Okay, beautiful guys. Make sure your sitting bones are underneath you. We're gonna draw the right arm along the right ear if it feels good and the left arm along the left ear. Take a breath. Just bend the left knee into that extended side angle variation. Keep the arms alongside the ears. We're gonna stand up. The toes are out into that skandhasana, tilt back, flex the right foot, bend the left knee. Start to send the sitting bones back. And then when you can't go anymore, you can use the hands to take a seat. Right hand behind you, little stargazer. Inhale, lift the hips, lift that left arm. And then exhale, we'll drop the hips, reach the hands forward for low lunge. Crouching tiger, step back, breathe in. Malasana squat as you breathe out. Inhale, hands to heart. And forward fold. Chair pose, breathing in. Figure four, right foot to your left thigh. Interlacing those hands. And we're lifting the chest, even if it's slightly. And we're taking that fold. Opening up the shoulders a little bit more if you can. Okay, very nice. One-legged tree, let's come up all together. And then exhale, drag and twist, taking the twist all the way to the left. Bind, pull the belly away from the thighs. Standing split, take a deep breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Standing split, inhale. Exhale, baby Hanuman. Right chin down. Arms up as you breathe in. And twist towards the left as you breathe out. Take an inhale. Exhale, low lunge, step that right leg back. Almost there, Anji and Asana, breathe in. Open twist towards the right as you breathe out. Taking that little back bend, inhale. Make sure the right hip keeps reaching forward. Chaturanga, full sweep as you step back. Up dog or cobra. And down with facing dog. Very nice guys, let's take a full inhale. A full exhale. One last little bit and we're coming into our peak pose. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step in between the hands, find warrior one. Lifting up, find warrior one, take a breath. And then interlace your hands again behind lower back. Inhale to lift your heart. And then we're folding in the inside of that right leg for humble warrior all the way down towards the mat. Bumping that right hip back just here for a moment. Keeping the hands bound, we're gonna come all the way up, warrior one. Exhale, airplane, start to shine your heart forward as you lift that left leg. Pull belly button into your back. Keeping the hands bound, one leg at us and a left knee to chest. Exhale, eagle legs, the right leg goes over the left. Okay, it's a little bit awkward with the hands behind you. A little bit of a hard open as you lift your heart. And then find the figure four legs, left foot to right thigh as you start to fold over, opening that left hip. Cool guys, one leg a tree, breathe in. And drag and twist as you breathe out, hands to heart, over to the right. Step back to low lunge this time, breathe in. And then a little bend to that left knee as you breathe out. High crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two to the top of your mat as you exhale. Reverse your warrior, breathe in. And extended side angle, breathe out. Left arm along that left ear. Reverse your triangle, breathe in. Full triangle as you breathe out. Straight away, right arm along right ear, left arm along left. Exhale, just bending the right knee into that extended side angle version. Standing up with hands along your ears. Toes out, keep the right knee bent, flex the left foot, start to sit your weight back. Okay, from here we're gonna take a little bind. Right arm, if you can, along that right shin. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe you can reach the left arm around the lower back. Maybe you can find the fingertips. Keep supported through your legs. If you can sit the weight back, cool. If you need more support, keep active in the inner thighs. Maybe you can open that left shoulder. 
And then we'll meet in low lunge. Bring the hands next to that right foot. Step back, find high plank. Chaturanga, find your flow. Up dog or cobra. And downward facing dog. Rippling forward, high plank. Take a deep breath in. All the way to your belly as you. Okay, full locust pose. Interlace your hands behind your lower back. Lift your chest. We lift the thighs as well. Inner thighs are drawing towards each other, pulling up to the ceiling, but also reaching energy forwards and back. One more inhale. Exhale, everything comes all the way down, hands under your shoulders. Tuck toes, press up all fours. Child's pose, take a moment as you sit the weight back. Just take a full breath in. And a deep breath out. Coming onto all fours. Downward dog for the last side to the left. Left leg rises, three-legged dog, breathe in. Stepping in between the hands, find warrior one. Coming all the way up on your inhale. And we interlace the hands, base of your spine. Again, it's that back bend as you lift the heart, opening the shoulders even more. Humble warrior as you exhale, not here for long. Finding the strength in the legs, the feet, and the belly, allowing the neck to hang heavy. Oh, that round. <laughs> okay, we're keeping the hands bound. We're gonna come all the way up as we inhale, and it's airplane as we exhale, reaching that right leg up, drawing the energy forward and back. Keeping the hands, one leg is tadasana, right knee to chest, and it's eagle legs, right leg over left. Okay, finding the stability, inhale, just a small back bend. Lifting the gaze slightly. Figure four legs as you start to fold over the legs a little bit deeper this time. Okay, one-legged tree, release everything, stand tall, and drag and twist as you breathe out. Inhale, step back to low lunge. Exhale, bend to that right knee. High crescent lunge, inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, take a deep breath in. Extended side angle breathing out. Just finding lots of length through the body. Reverse your triangle, breathe in. Full triangle as you breathe out. Straight away here, left arm along left ear. Right along, arm along right. Take a breath. Extended side angle, just bending that left knee. Coming up to stand, inhale. Keep the left knee bent, we flex the right foot, we start to lower down slowly. When you need to, hands can come down. And then from here, we're finding a bind. So it's left arm reaching forward, around that left shin. Maybe the right hand can come around the, the lower back active in the legs. If you need to use your hands instead to help you, that's perfect. Can you open that right shoulder? And then exhale, we'll meet in low lunge, straight to chaturanga, find your flow. Up dog or cobra. And it's a downward facing dog. Beautiful guys, it's ripple forward high plank. And slowly again, down towards your belly. Okay, this time I'm gonna open the arms kind of behind you or beside you. And we're gonna take another back bend, locust kind of variation. We're just gonna fly everything up towards the ceiling. Legs are reaching back, arms are reaching side or back. Just wanna get this flying sensation. Everything reaching up. Take one more deep breath in. Everything relax down, bring your left cheek to the mat and just fold. A few breaths. Just letting yourself rest for a moment.
Okay, and then we'll bring the forehead back down. Hands and your shoulders, legs squeeze together, tuck the toes, and we'll push back to an embryo pose for a moment. Reaching the hands forward, stretching through that lower back. Okay, and then we're gonna roll all the way up to sit on our shins. And we're gonna prep now for camel pose. So you can come to the middle of your mat, spread the knees out, hip width distance apart, and then just come up to sit on the shins. Okay, option one, we're gonna bring our hands to our heart. So just like we've been doing the whole of class, really opening up through the heart center. If your camel pose looks like this, you're pressing the hips slightly forward, you're lifting the heart space, little arch back as if you had a bra on and you're gonna bend from that bra strap and lift up the heart up towards the ceiling. Okay, this is option one. Option two, we're gonna bring hands towards the lower back, fingers pressing down and towards the lower spine. And this version, we're gonna press the hips forward. We're lifting the heart space. Double action of pushing the hips forward and lifting the heart space. As you inhale, you lift, pressing the hands into the lower spine. It's a lifting of the chest, a little arcing back as the hips press forward. Okay, option three, we'll start to release the hands back towards the heels. So we'll go together, option one, option two, option three. I'm gonna start with my hands on my lower pelvis. We'll take a deep breath in to lengthen. And as we exhale, start to push the hips forward and pull the heart up towards the ceiling. And everything goes together. All energy is moving forward and up. Okay, hands at your heart, you're gonna stay. If you've got more space, you're gonna start to release the hands to the heels. Keep pressing the hips forward. Keep lifting up through the chest. We'll take one more breath in. Exhale, slowly bring the hands behind lower back. Slowly press up and we'll just set the sitting bones back to heels, hands to the thighs, we'll close the eyes. We'll go into another round. I'm just noticing here for a moment how the body feels, what comes up. Okay, going for our second round, we'll come back onto shins. Hands at your heart, you do that again, maybe hands at lower back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to push the hips forward, lift the heart up. And then if you're going a little bit deeper, maybe this is enough. Releasing the hands again to your heels, pushing the hips forward, lifting the heart. Maybe you can release the head back slightly as you push forward. Still breathing. Take a breath in. Exhale, tuck chin to chest. You slowly press up and then you release the sitting bones back. Without folding forward, release the hands to the, to the thighs and just close the eyes. Again, just noticing. Okay, and with the back settled, now you can give a little drawing forward into a child's pose. Grounding the forehead. Take a deep breath into that lower back. And roll all the way up, press on the hands into the mat. Just draw the feet to one side, hips to one side, bring the feet forward. Little scoot to the top of your mat. Draw the hands forward and it'll roll onto the spine. Melting the vertebra all the way down, using the core. O open the arms out to a T. Bring the feet hip width just a little bit wider than your mat. Knock the knees in. And then to start to wind the right leg left. Releasing that back bend, opening up through the lower spine. Next time your legs rock over towards the right, take a little hook on the right foot to the left, 
thigh and just gaze over that left shoulder. And then unhooking that right foot, knees come through, center all the way to the left. Left foot to the right thigh. Let it be nice and heavy as you gaze over towards the right. Releasing the hook on that right foot. Bring the knees through center and then give your knees a little hug in towards your chest. This should feel really good now. Maybe it'll rock right and left. And then it's a little hug of your forehead up towards your knees as you take one more big breath in. And it's Shavasana on your breath out. Lengthen everything as you release the hands. Take one more deep breath in. Long sigh out the mouth. Again, allowing the awareness to rest on what is. without creating another story, without painting another picture. Keep your mind focused on the natural rhythm of your breath. And acknowledging that every time the mind drifts away, just to gently draw it back into the present moment. Yogis, please stay in your Shavasana for a little while longer. If you would like joining your hands together and then drawing the thumbs into the center of your brow, just acknowledging our practice and saying Namaste. Namaste.